Greetings photo retailer. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Photogize Creative Kiosk standard print ordering interface. Photogize kiosks make it fast and easy for customers to order prints in your store. Let's begin by touching the screen. First your customer will be prompted to insert their digital media card or touch on the photo central button to conveniently access their online photo albums. Once they've chosen a photo input source your customer will touch the continue button. Next, your customer will be prompted to choose what type of product they'd like to create. For today's example, we're going to choose standard prints. The photo retailer can custom control the text that appears on each one of these buttons. So we'll click on standard prints, and what this is going to do is load the customer's images into the print ordering interface. As you can see, the customer's photos load across the top, and they can use the arrow buttons to scroll left or right. The retailer's product list appears on the left hand side and the customer can scroll through all the products available from the retailer. In the center is the photo the customer is currently working on and on the right hand side are the edit controls for that image. So to bring up a different photo I simply touch on the photo and it will redraw that photo in the center. When I want to edit an image or enter a quantity, I first want to enter the quantity to make sure that I'm working on the aspect ratio for the media the customer selected. Next I can choose any of the edit controls. So I can zoom in, I can zoom out. The customer can also use their photo or their finger to move the photo around in the space. They can use the pan and zoom for finite control. They can change black and white, sepia, auto remove red eye if there's red eye, lighten and darken and adjust contrast. Below the image it's going to show the quantity of prints ordered with that image. So say I also want to order a 5 by 7 it's going to change the aspect ratio and my quantity also goes up to 2. Say I know one, I need one of this product for all images I can hit the apply to all button and I will be asked if I want to apply this compi count for this product to all images. So I'll click yes. Below the product list it shows a running subtotal for this purchase and the total number of prints ordered. Above the image it will also show the file name so the customer can quickly access images in the list and find the images they'd like to place prints for. When they're ready to check out they'll simply click the continue button. Next the customer will be prompted to insert or enter the information the photo retailer has requested. So I'm going to enter my name and I will click OK. I'm going to enter my phone number and fields that show a star next to it are required fields by the retailer. The retailer can turn on or off fields so you can also prompt for an address for example. I'd also like to share my email address with the retailer so I'll enter that here and click OK. I'm now ready to continue the checkout process if the photo retailer is offering a CD as a product, the customer will be able to choose that selection here. So today I'm not going to burn a CD, so I'm going to touch the no thank you. Next, it's going to display a summary of the order for the customer. So I get to look at the quantity, the price, subtotals, and once I'm satisfied, I'll click continue to complete my purchase. This is going to copy the customer's photo for print ordering. It's going to bring up my receipt page which shows me my receipt number. It reminds me to remove my media. If the photo retailer has auto receipt printing turned on, it'll print a receipt at this time. This page will recycle so the next customer that steps up will be on the starting screen. That completes today's tutorial of the standard print ordering interface on the Photogize Creative Kiosk. Thank you for using Photogize.